coming on, they bud. They kind of had to pitch it because, like, a, you know, a barber with a beard, like, you're not selling much if you're, if you're, if you're yeah. like. <laughs> I guess, yeah, a barber with a beard. No, but, but he wouldn't. thought it looked cool, so like, yeah, well, you can do that, sure. Oh, you, yeah. 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 I, I, um, this really was, you Raise Me Up was on this album? It was, yeah. And, uh, that was the biggest song. Oh my! That, that every was... wedding, every funeral. Yeah, was, uh... both. Yeah, you had them, you had them both covered. <laughs> <laughs> you had them both covered, and everything in between. No, but I remember when that song came out. It yeah. was like it, I, I saw it in places. I go, everyone loved it. Yeah, it was on commercials. It was on everything. I go, it was part of the like I want to say the Olympics. Whatever it was, it was a it meaningful was moment. Present. Yes, it really was. Yeah, I mean, well, it's it's such a lucky thing when you have a song like that 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 um, that has been everywhere. And I remember the first time I heard it in the back of a taxi cab in Dublin, Ireland, when I was promoting my first album. And then at some point, somebody came into the studio with it and was like, hey, I think you'd be really right for that song. I was like, that was my drunken Irish taxi cab song. Yeah. And, um, and it, we never expected it to be a single, and it just blew up, yeah. Uh, I, I, I congrats on that, and by Thank the way, so congrats much. on the 20th anniversary. Deluxe edition, uh, pick this up, and it's got some extra in Easter orange. eggs. Got some Easter eggs in there for yeah, fans. Yeah, it does, definitely. Yeah, yeah. There's a, a, a verse that we had cut out of the "You Raise Me Up" uh, early on, and it, we 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 put it back in. Yes. Now it's now it's 17 minutes longer. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Fantastic. Please enjoy. So it's a quadruple album. That's Fantastic. right. It is. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But uh, I was talking to you. Uh, I was lucky enough to go see you at, at Sweeney Todd. But oh. we we were talking backstage. Sweeney Todd, you crushed this. Thank you. So and much. you were saying to me that you were kind of a theater nerd. You were a theater yeah. kid. Still am. Uh, yeah. I. Yeah. I. I you know. Sweeney Todd is one of those iconic roles that for, for those of us that grew up, you know, with baritone voices and just, you know, not really having the ability to dance, there were certain roles that were like, oh, I wanna, I wanna dive into that one day. And Sweeney Todd is just one of the most brilliant pieces of music ever written. Um, I did it when I was in summer camp at Interlochen Arts no Camp in way. Michigan. I was in the ensemble and had the best time of my life. So, and here you so, are on Broadway. It's so full circle. Getting nominated for a Tony Award. <laughs> not too really, shabby, really but it's been really amazing. Our casting crew is incredible. Little Josh Groban, if you're Little watching. Joshy. Little Joshy. if you're watching, you did pretty well, buddy. In another dimension yeah, somewhere. It might happen. Little Josh is what the show airs. Who knows? Uh, I got to see it opening night.